What's up y'all, it's your girl Nikki here and I'm back with another video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve this look using all drugstore products, y'all. Everything that I browse to my setting powders, everything are either from the drugstore or very affordable products, you guys. Yes, you guys, that is what I'm gonna be doing for you guys today. I really loved how it came out and I just want you guys to understand that you don't have to spend a big coin on products just to achieve a beautiful flawless makeup look you guys and yeah you guys i really enjoy making this video for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy it so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel you guys please don't forget to hit that notification bell if you like to see how i created this look please keep on watching and if you don't take anything else from my videos you guys please remember and i have to remind myself that god loves you i love you so it's important that we love ourselves, y'all. So let's get right into this video. Uh, most of the brushes in this tutorial are going to be from Morphe. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this Morphe brush to go ahead and clean up under my brows. The concealer that I'm going to be using to clean up my brows is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And I'm also going to be taking a little bit a foundation to clean up the top of my brows and I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect to clean the top of my brows. So now we're going to move head on, move head on, move on to the lids and just to prep my lids, I'm going to go in with the, um, what am I going to go in with? I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible um, Concealer again and this is in a color Cocoa 420. And to blend out my concealer, I am using a Morphe M173 brush. For my brows, um, I use the Morphe eyebrow pencil in the color um what color is this java for my eyebrows milani palette that i found at the drugstore which retails for about 4.99 and it's just neutral palette here and this shade did break on me but yeah we're still going to use it we're just doing a simple look for you guys today so now i'm just going to go in with this brown lightest brown shade in this palette with a morphe m535 brush it's like a real fluffy brush and i'm just going to put that into my crease So now that I have that on the eyes like that, I'm going to take this like rose pinky shade. Um, I don't know if you can see the true color. It's like a pinky shade. It looks lighter on camera, but it's really not. And I'm just going to put that on my lid very lightly. now that's all we're going to do with the eyes and now I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner 
And so the eyeliners that I'm going to be using today are the NYX uh, Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And then I also use the Essence Super Last Eyeliner. Um, the NYX Eyeliner retails for about $5.99, $6.99, depending on where you get it. And the Essence Eyeliner I got from Ulta, and it retails for $2.99. I'm going to go ahead with these um, lashes right here. And I also got these from Amazon. Let those dry before I put them on. And we're just going to move right into the first. First, I'm going to go in with primer. Primer is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer. And this primer retails for about $6 at CVS. Now I'm going to go in with the Ben Nye powder and set that primer. So my lashes have dried, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply those real quick. So for foundation today, I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match um, foundation. And I am going to be mixing two of them. And one of them is, uh, what is this, W95 and Deep Warm. And then this one is C9 and Deep Cool. And I'm going to be putting the lighter shade, which is W95, in the middle of my face. And the darker shade, which is C9, on the outer perimeter. to highlight those areas I'm going to be using the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the color cinnamon and also I'm going to be using a Juvia's Place um, concealer in the color 7 
And then the darker shade will go on the outer parts. For contour today, I've been doing a real subtle contour, and I've been using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C18, and this retails for, I believe, $9.99 at Ulta. The Juvia's Place Concealer at Ulta retails for $14.99, and then the Elf Camel Concealer at CVS retails for about $7.99. I'm just going to blend that in using a Real Techniques uh, brush. So of course now the next step is to set the face and I'm going to be going in with the Sasha Buttercup to set all the places where I highlighted. Go ahead and set that contour with this Nika K um, Duo contour and I'm taking a darker shade. I want to add a pop of shimmer in the middle. To do that I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild, this highlighter in the color Mega Glow. Then I'm going to go ahead and set my face using this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm going to put a white in my waterline just to make this look um, just pop a little more instead of a black. And I'm going to be using the NYX Epic Wear Liner. I'm going to go ahead and highlight and I'm going to be using that same highlighter from Wet n Wild and it retails for about $5.99. So for my lashes, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Last uh, Renegade Mascara and this retails for $4.99 at CBS. Now for the lips, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild lip pencil in the color brown. Brown now. my lips today I'm just going to go on with the gloss and I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place 
um, it's electric gloss. So I'm going to go on with this Milani uh, Lush, Luscious Lip and the color Soft Rose and just put it right just a little bit on my lip. 